Why do I struggle so bad with meaty throws? The window and timing is weird at first. There's a lot of throw-in vulnerability in this game, and throw-in vulnerability covers their normals. So if Dudley is waking up with that button, roundhouse, you cannot throw him. It will never work. So I think Dudley's roundhouse was the limit. I don't remember. It might be five, it might be six also, I forget. But if a, if a move is five frames, well, I guess this is six, so that makes more sense. So if the active frame is on frame six, you can't grab it. They still have throw-in vulnerability. So if they also are airborne before, like within those six frames, if they have a move that places them airborne, you also can't throw them. Like Sean, for example, if you do forward heavy kick with Sean as you're getting up off the ground, you actually beat throws with Ford Heavy Kick because he's airborne. The, the attack is really slow, uh, but it's fast enough to beat a whiff throw. Am I advising to do that? Maybe once in a blue moon, because it's terribly, uh, I believe it's unsafe. Minus five is pretty unsafe, but it's all it also whiffs on crouch. So this is airborne on frame six. That makes sense. So this is technically fully throw invincible. Uh, but yeah, you can't throw somebody on wake up for a couple of frames and they can use normals to actually beat your throw because you just can't throw them yet. Uh, so that's why parrying on their wake up can be a good idea, but it, there's also a risk involved to it. Uh, but then that also means that if you just attack them on their wake up, you're going to counter hit them as long as you do a meaty. So that exchange I think is really cool. The way it was designed for third strike, but also the... I didn't know that. For 10, 15 years, I think about 15 years, I didn't know that. I only recently learned about how big the throw in ball window is in Third Strike. So does every character have a move that is throw invincible on wake up? If it's below, oh, is it six frames? If it's six frames or faster, it's gonna beat throws. I've heard years ago pressing a button in throw in ball, they didn't know what they were talking about. <laughs> I mean, you might have heard it from me, because that makes sense. Uh, counter-attack, we'll do Dudley's roundhouse. Okay, there we go. He's gonna wake up with heavy kick. I can probably do grab. I'll never be able to grab this. Does not work. Can't do it. Does not work. Can't do it. I can do this a hundred more times. It, it, it will not work. That's why some people parry on their wake up. But then, obviously, if they were to do crouching light kick, my forward parry is gonna lose. So, in this case, that's when you do... I guess crouching heavy kick is good, right? Yep. If he wakes up with lights, they still are invulnerable. If it's below six frames, it's gonna be involved. If it's below six frames, it doesn't matter. They're gonna be throw it bowl. The throw it bowl is gonna cover anything below that. <laughs> but okay, if they do something slower than that, we'll do heavy punch. This has to be much slower. So here's heavy punch. I grabbed him out of heavy punch because he runs out of throw it bowl. So this can be done. It's still not easy to do this. But it's possible to do it. That is the biggest difference. Possible. But you don't want to wake up with heavy punch. You just why wake up with heavy punch when you get your heavy kick they're that close to you. So the other example would be with Sean. Yeah. What we talked about earlier. If they do forward and heavy kick, this move is much slower. This move is much slower than Dudley's heavy kick, but he's airborne. So I can't grab him because he's airborne. I Probably if I time this incorrectly, it's going to reset, but... <clears throat> if I time it well, he's going to still be on the ground. So, yep, that works. Got it. This game's sick. I gotta play it again. So the other thing is that if you parry, you cannot tech grabs. Yeah. So now I gotta make a safe state here, and then, hooray, throw tech. Now this time I'm gonna input parry. You can look at my inputs on the top left. Can't tech it. 
Down parry. Can't tech. Can't tech. Can't tech. Now watch this. See right that? I parried, but I still there was still a throw tech that happened. But I didn't tech their throw. They teched my throw. I can still parry and then grab. But I can't parry and then tech their grab. So you see how that works? See that works? <laughs> oh, that's... <laughs> what version of Third Strike is this? This is the training mode LUA. Oh, man, maybe I should make a video about how to install this. Because I get that question all the time. So you would input that OS when you see someone dash and grab? No. 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 If somebody's dashing in to grab against me, I just grab. If I input the parry, then I might not be able to tech their grab. See what I'm saying? So it's better to just do a regular grab if somebody is dashing in to throw you. And if you're fast enough, you'll just grab them out of it. Like that. If you watch Kuroda play against the American players, he would just stand here and then look for grabs. Look for dashes to grab. That was all he was doing. Because grabs are extremely fast in third strike. So are dashes. But you have to complete your dash, you gotta then grab. It's more likely that you'll grab them or tech their throw. So even if for you was to do dash in, short, short, I might still even grab him before he does that. Of course, this is easier said than done, but it's actually better. So, what people do in Third Strike a lot is when you jump at them, they'll parry your jump in and then grab. But they can't tech your grab if they parry your jump in. Let me show you what I'm talking about. I'm gonna do this, and then grab. This is common. So, I try to parry this. I try to parry the jump in and then grab. But now I can't tech their grab. Either that or I'm throwing them. See what I mean? I try to parry the jump in, they don't do a button. And then they land and then they throw. But if they throw first, I can't tech their grab. I can time my grab properly to where it punishes their landing recovery, but it's, it's not easy to do. That's why this is good. Because you can't parry this. But then if they do an early jump in, they can beat out my back breaker. So it's a really weird exchange that happens in just a brief moment with the anti-air. Because they can hit me really high because I'm tall. They can hit really low because, you know, I'm still there. They can parry while they're in the air. They can empty jump grab. They can empty jump uppercut if they're crazy. Yep. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and leave me a comment or a question. I do want to grow this channel to 100,000 subscribers, but more importantly, I want to teach people fighting games. If you want to catch the live stream, link is in the description. And that's it for now. I hope you learned something. I'm Automatic. Peace.